Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Common Sense as England. England, the brokish people. We're very broke. We have very little money. We have 18, 19 regiments of dudes here. Um, and it looks like we're going to get engaged by a 301. However, um, this army is going to actually arrive in Picardy on the 14th. They're going to be there on the 11th, so we're only three days of combat without help. We're going to have to consolidate regiments for sure. So we're at peak fighting efficiency. Uh, 8th, 14th. So 14th is not going to intercept us. It's not going to prevent... Well, actually, it might. But if it does... Uh, if it does, that'd be bad. I guess we find out. So you can engage my 10 stack with the 7 stack. If he does, he does. Either we reinforce here, or he engages us here. One way or the other. And, uh, he did not. So, okay, we get a larger force here. We get a couple days, five more days, where we have a bigger army than they do. They have a penalty. They're using a 3-0 versus our 2-4. Come on, luck be a lady. Roll some good numbers. Come on, roll like a... Yeah, 11 to 4. It's great. We'll take that every time. That's bad. You're fired, Richard. You suck. Okay, 12. There we go. You're, you're hired again. We'll keep you around as long as you roll good numbers. Damn it! Why do you suck so much in the fire face, Richard? Thank you, Richard. It's not your fault, Richard. It's not your fault. You're a good man, Richard. We like you, Richard. These mercenaries are so freaking expensive. I'm, I'm scared to look at the number. The, the number that we owe is now 1,200 ducats. Oh my goodness. So much. Oh god, yeah. Mostly cavalry army? Let's wait till it's locked. Quarantine influenza has expired. Well, that's good. Can I not tell that it's locked? Now it is. So we'll arrive on the 18th. And we'll be the aggressor, but it's it's insufficient support. So massive bonus to our our combat. They have 0.3 tactics. They should take six, sub, some pretty substantial losses there. However, they are actually about to take the war goal. And that is my fear. Austria is at... Way negative now on England is at war. Hmm. That was less earlier. I wonder why the number changed. What determines what the was at war negative number is? Anyway. Is it uh, the length of the war, the number of people involved in the war, the war score, the size of the armies involved in the war? Like, what could it be, do you think? They're curious. Hey, uh, Kanat, how you doing? Are you dead? You're negative. Well, Scotland's helping you out. You should be just fine. So we got a leaderless 8 force, 8, eight infantry, 3, well... It's 8 and 4, but it's more like 7 and 3. I think we can win that fight. We have no, no cavalry of our own. We already got our morale tick. He's too fast for me. Okay. Well, if the French come up... I mean, I would love to put pressure on, on their capital. Putting pressure on their capital seemed to be what actually broke their siege of Labor. Let's try it. Let's just see what we can do. Maybe he's dumb enough that he'll break the siege with 10 siege progress because I'm threatening his capital with a 20 stack. Almost 20 stack. Yes, we're, till, we're losing money. Um, What can I do to not lose money, I wonder? Well, kind of need those heavies. War reparations to Austria kind of sucks. Austria, I could really use some help right about now, man. It's the French. You hate the French. You should hate the French. Why haven't you rivaled the French? He is not breaking his siege. It's going to fall. I just know it. It's going to fall. Oh, got lucky. But we're up to 35% chance now. 
Hey, at least we got 1.68 whole ducats from looting Paris. France, I just want you to know, deep down, how much I absolutely hate you. As a country. In this game, of course. I don't mean to say that uh, I hate them in real life or anything. That'd be crazy. Let's have a 232 uh, leader. Look, look at all this fort blockage. My god, do you... Oh, is that... Am I seeing it from their perspective? No, that's my perspective. Why? What? Do you have, like, 20,000 forts or some something? Damn. Well, if he engages me in the farmlands with his two-maneuver character, we have more maneuver. I think there's a river. Depends on if he comes through Orléané or Alencon. I guess we'll find out. Is there no one else that wants to become my friend? Provence would accept an alliance. So, there'd be, like, no reason to not do that, right? I should just call them in and... Offer an alliance and then call them to war. The fact that I'm at war... Like, they would join a war. If, they're, if they would accept an alliance, they would join a war. They have to. Otherwise, it'd just be stupid. Is there a reason why I can't call you to arms? Are you already at war with them? Attacker against Savoy. There's gotta be a reason I can't call you in. At war with Saxony, Tuscany. So, hmm, I'm kind of confused. Would have expected that they'd be eligible for joining the war. That's kind of why I did that. <laughs> He's going to come straight for me. He's coming in through Nemours. There's going to be a river. We just got to hope we do well. We've lost the Siege of Laborde. Damn. Bring our, our lone cavalry over. Let's let him help. Oh, cool. So we get to do something. Agricultural revolution. Oxfordshire, one way or the other, is getting better. So, so far, it's got quite a bit of base tax, quite low manpower. I think you're better off specializing provinces. So if I had to guess, I, I, would, I would say it's probably best to just keep on doing base tax in a province that has higher base tax than manpower. So we're, we're going to do that. It seems good to me. Here comes a 21 stack. And I believe there is a river between here and Namor. River flows between this province and Orléanais. Apparently there's no river. Well, that sucks. Come on, Richard. Richard, I just need you to roll well. Is it... My, I have a leader named Richard... And my character's guy is Richard. Come on, Richard. Both Richards. Do well. The fight begins tomorrow. Well, they lost more than we did. That means we had a slightly better roll. Charles, the 2-3. Our first shock phase is going to probably determine it. 5-6. to six. Could have been better. Ugh. Oh. 5-6 to six means we lose tons of men. And then we roll a 1 to his 4. 9 to his 9. Here comes a 12 stack reinforcing anyway. I think we're kind of screwed. God, these rolls have been so closely matched. We never got an advantage over them. I can't stop these guys. Portugal will be forced to give France... Alright, so Portugal's out. We lost all of our advantage. Hey, France, if I just gave you the damn province, would you would you go away? Almost, actually. I think I'm probably just going to have to give him that land. Pretty Seems pretty unlikely to me that uh, we're going to turn this one around. 
Not without Austria wanting to join us. Wish you would not shatter into two separate locations. I feel like the army should at least be able to shatter as a group. to consolidate you guys. So, we are losing quite a bit of war score now. I wonder if I can assault the board back. I'm gonna try it. Um, let's leave the cavalry behind. We'll take 9,000 infantry down here and just see if it's possible to assault it before it gets any stronger and maybe we just take it back and, I don't know, maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll buy us time. Maybe the ticking war score comes back we could piece France out for nothing. Or maybe we get lucky and Austria actually decides that they want to be friends with us, you know, for reasons. Ten stack of exiled troops here. He is no longer going to be exiled when he gets to the board. Oh, he's going to Baron. All right, let's go. Come on, luck be a lady. He's probably just going to march to the board as soon as I land. Oh, he's still exiled. Good. So 370 troops. What do you think the chances are that we could assault this thing and just win? I'm going to try it. Sortie from siege. Where's the assault button? You cannot assault a fortress without a breach. What? Since when? Well, that's new. So without getting a lucky breach, it's just not even possible. Well, there's no way he's just gonna let me siege this back, is he? That would be crazy. That would be reckless. Reckless, silly behavior. Come on, breach it. Ten is not enough to get a breach. Come on. Come on, Richard. <laughs> I'm just going to keep yelling at Richard. Richard, you suck. Richard. Alright, we're in the woods. I'm just going to commit everything to this. Seems to be the only way to go. We are in so much debt. We're going to continue to take debt, because it's either we do that, or we just concede, and concession seems like the wrong way to go. I don't want to concede to these filthy French. Alright, you've got a slightly insufficient support army, but you are coming in with a 2-3 again. You have no, I mean, we have no cavalry, so that's the, the big disadvantage. Alright, the Lollard Heresy. Lollards were a heretical group following the theological teaching of John Wycliffe. Do we want to get Lollards increasing unrest by 20 or let them be? France's opinion, Burgundy, Brittany, Papal State. Yeah, sure, sounds good. We don't mind the hot, we don't mind them. Yep, they've got insufficient support again. Good, good, good. Get those tactics down. Come on, Richard. Don't be a loser. Did your mother ever tell you not to be a loser? Don't be a loser. You're a winner, Richard. I don't care what anyone else says, I think you're a winner. Well, maybe if we just keep committed down here... It might happen. Negative 20 reasons. See, England is at war, is now back down to negative 60 instead of negative whatever it was. If you could just go ahead and be friendly, Austria, I'm just saying. 
I mean, it would help out a lot if you'd stop being a jerk. Okay, we've got some cavalry coming down now. This might actually be one of the better defensive provinces for us. It's got a river and a and hills. It's it's not bad. Now if he engages me again, and we reinforce with a ten stack or a nine stack, whatever this is, that would be good. Assuming we can get there in time. This time he's attacking with no leader. We'll see. I don't know that we're going to be able to win this fight. There is no river crossing. I was mistaken earlier. He doesn't have insufficient support or anything like that. We gotta hold out for 12 days. Come on, man. Hold out. Come on, Richard. Richard! Richard's rolling nines. Suddenly Richard's not such a bad guy, after all. I like Richard. Richard's one of my favorite people. We're losing lots of money, though. I'm never going to be able to get actually up to 75%. I need 27 regiments. Sick, I can't train six more regiments, can I? Well, we have we have some money. Let's hire a uh, um, regular horseman. No breach. I wonder, are we looting this province? I don't think we are. It's our own land. It wouldn't make any sense. Just because they control it, I don't think we're looting it. We're also not suffering any attrition sieging it back, so at least we've got that going for us, which is nice. Oh, the negative money. The lack of funding is so brutal. We're going to be paying for this war for centuries. Is this thing going to happen soon? 10% chance each month that this thing can end, apparently. Maybe we should just get a little tiny bit more support. Sure, dip diplomatic support in Wessex. 93% chance seems a lot better. What do we get again? If we actually get it, I've already forgotten. Build costs go down and we get base tax. Cool. Well, we're going to need the money, that's for sure. Come at me, boy. Come here, France. Get over here. If we can hold out long enough, if we can wait till September of two years from now, we'll have Tech 4, and I doubt France will. That might be the turning point in this war. Could happen. England is at war, negative 100. Hey, Parliament just passed. I'm glad I did that thing. So, gained one base tax in uh, Gloucestershire, and gained one base tax in Gloucestershire. Apparently we gained one base tax in both of them. Why Why was it both in the same? I thought it was in two, supposed to be in two provinces. Each level gives local spy defense. Alright, cool. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so build costs are cheaper. Is that going to be in here? Indeed it is. New one. Start debate. This... The Parliament is busy making sure the last edicts are being followed, and we can have our next issue presented to them in 1460. What? I gotta wait 10 years? That's a long time. I was hoping to be able to do it all the time. Apparently it's, it's only about once every 20 years that we get to play that game. It's an interesting little diversion, little, you know, side game. Come on, breach the walls and I'll just assault it. Our glorious navy is under attack. Okay, well, hello, Tuscany. This is my ocean. It's nice to see you. And we'll send reinforcements. I don't think they're going to be necessary. Actually, sieging down Leinster. Leinster will take care of it. You're not going to be able to hurt my ships. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. Let's get back down here and make sure we got the blockade going for this next tick. Hopefully they'll make it... Nope, they're not going to make it in time. Shoot! 
Well, we still had a supplies shortage. I like that that's there, so you can see what the previous roll was a little bit clearer. Instead of having to hover over the thing and look at the number and figure out what it was. So you can see that the last time we had a tick, we gained plus one siege status. It's kind of useful. Negative 14% chance of actually succeeding, but... It's a pretty good chance that we'll get a supply shortage. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a water, food, or defender's dessert. The water shortage would be the best for us. Water shortage, I believe, is... Yeah, plus three siege status. Let's see what we get. It's gonna be a... Defender's Dessert. Ah, oh, it sucks. Defender's Dessert only gives you plus one siege status, but it reduces the number of defenders. Reducing the number of defenders doesn't really matter too much because we can't assault. So it's like, eh. We actually rolled slightly too well. If we had rolled one better, we would have breached the walls. In which case we would have gained, um... Well, if we had rolled that high, we would have had what? We would still have had Defender's Dessert, but we would have gained an extra three siege status and we'd be able to assault. But it kind of stinks. Could have gone better. Come on, military tech. I think I'm just going to have to train more mercenaries. Let's complete the mission so that we can get the recruitment costs down and... I'm just going to continue to hemorrhage money. It's, it's fine. 1,500 ducats, no big deal. We're not going to have very much score this game. We've lost the Siege of Normandy. Uh-oh. That means they're going to come down here. I need, I need time, game. I need time to take back Laborde. Give me time. Alright, that should do the mission. Cool. Vassalize, the rival of a rival, Morocco. Yeah, see, I don't think that's going to happen. They're at war. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, are they, they're technically losing, but not by as much as they were earlier. Looks like Scotland might actually be helping them out. So they're going to go for the other fort now. Alright, let's grab the, uh, the transports. We'll go fight this Tyrone army. Looks like we picked up a cog. We're not over the force limit though, right? No. Alright, cool. Well, yeah. I'm going to have to take a break here. But, um, we'll see. I don't know if we can win this war or not. I'm trying my best. Negative 14 reasons now. Negative 13 reasons. Austria, if you could just join and just lend that, like, scare factor. Relative strength of the alliance. That would be so wonderful. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. See you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.